Hey, would you look at that? There's a big brown box on my front porch. Brian Van started a company called SportBikeTrackGear.com. You do online sales of motorcycle parts, gear, uh, accessories, all that. And they put out a lot of videos with reviews and tech videos. Just some really good tech videos. Before Christmas of 2020, he put out a video saying, Hey, we're having a raffle benefit the some families that are pretty hard hit financially because of the COVID restrictions. I thought that was a great idea. So I got a couple tickets. Ended up winning a helmet. The Shoei X14. Brian and I talked and we were going to wait till closer to spring before I got the helmet. So they had new graphics or new helmets out. Lo and behold there is a big brown box on my front porch. So let's open it. Remember, safety first. Oh, would you look at that? Like a freaking surgeon. Beautiful. Now let's take it somewhere and get it unboxed. So let's see what we got in the box here. And this is the Shoei X14. I went for the Aerodyne Red. I like red. It comes with this nifty little sticker on the front. So, like, if you get bored while you're riding, you can read it or whatever. Um, I've already read it once, so let's get that off. The visor itself, it's got pin locks. I was just putting the video together about this unboxing and thought, who is this clown? Oh, wait, that's me. This isn't right. Let's go, let's go do this the right way. You want to check out a helmet? Let's go check it out the right way. We can talk about it all day, but there's... Don't, don't go away. Don't go away. We can talk about it all day, but there's only one way to review a helmet. Here we are, poking the raceway. First thing I noticed was the fit. It took about an hour or so for the helmet to get like broken in to my head. The internal pads have some adjustability to them so you can get the best view out the visor. Uh, they call it, Showy calls it, race mode or street mode. The helmet, while I was riding, was barely noticeable as far as weight goes. Now, I think Brian Van at Sport Bike Track Gear said on their shipping scale it was just over six pounds. But it felt incredibly light. Not like carbon fiber light, but it was light. And about protection, the helmet is Snell approved. And which means it's also DOT approved. Shoei makes it a really good helmet, so you're safe. Once I got on the track, I noticed uh, the amount of ventilation that this helmet has. It's got six vents in the front inlets and six outlets in the back. I wasn't feeling any. The track was the track was 89 degrees, and my head was comfortable. The helmet comes with an interesting little feature. It has a removable air dam that fits in the chin bar. It's very small, but it's highly effective at keeping the wind out of the helmet. On the back, there are two removable wings of sorts, and they help stabilize the helmet when you're in a turn. I'm looking in one direction, the bike is going in another, and the wind was not affecting the helmet, I wasn't pulling against it or pushing against it at all.
this was this track day was a double header. We had Saturday and Sunday. Saturday we rode counterclockwise around the course. Sunday it was clockwise. And you know I flipped the helmet around when I was riding clockwise because you know I'm gonna go backwards. And this helmet worked in both directions. Gotta love that. So to put everything in like pros and cons, I'll give you the pros and cons, that sounds good. The pros are, the price is mid-range. It's not the $200 helmet, it's not the $1,600 helmet, it's right in the middle there. It's Snell approved, it's got a ton of ventilation, tremendous field of view, adjustable pads in, you know, internally, and I'm sure there are one or two things that I'm missing, but the cons. The cons of the helmet don't matter as much to me. The, the only one con that I can think of is the sound level in the helmet. It's not super quiet. You can still hear what's going on around you. I personally like that, but some people don't. You know, that's a personal choice. So you're listening to some guy on a YouTube video talk about how great and wonderful this helmet is. Don't buy it based on that. Go try one on. Go see for yourself. Find out what the helmet's all about. See what it really has. See if you like it. If you do, you know, try it on, get your size. Call up Brian Van, a sport bike track gear. Order one from him. They're good people. You'll like dealing with them. So thanks again, Brian. And thanks to Glenn Goldman and Ride TPM for the track days. And shiny side up.